Well, yeah, you got some balance issues there, kiddo. You got thumped. Okay. This is kind of a, um, in some ways a happy story, but in some ways a very sad story. A gentleman brought us a ferruginous hawk, and that's the great part of the story. The sad part of the story is that a week after he brought us the ferruginous hawk, he was in a hor horrible, horrible car accident, and he died. And so unfortunately, um, you know, he can't be here to, to witness the release of this beautiful, beautiful hawk, but his family's gonna show up with us. Uh, we're going to go to the Sea Overlook above Cedar City and release this beautiful hawk back in the wild in honor of, in honor of Robert. <clears throat> you know, the um, kind of the neat thing, uh, Robert, um, he loves birds and he's an avid pigeon guy. And, and a lot of the guys that race pigeons, they don't like the hawks because they all hawks eat, eat their pigeons. Uh, but Robert not only loved them, but helped, but rescued this one, and he's taught his children to love to love wildlife and respect wildlife, and so it, it just kind of shows that we can we can work together um, to to make this world an amazing place. And there's nothing more beautiful than a ferruginous hawk. Fly real well, yeah. And he wouldn't fly. Hey, Frugi, how you Hi. doing, kiddo? He's probably thirsty as crap, but yeah, we'll go get him put in the chamber and get some food out for him and. Hopefully, we'll take care okay, of him. Thank well, you. Yeah. That's what we, we do. We would have picked him up if we didn't. You let him go after you take care of him? Absolutely. I just released an eagle this morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang it. We missed it. I know. That's awesome. I, I, I rescue a lot of critters. We, and that's what we do. We put them back in the wild. Yeah. And that's a, yeah. I was like, no, no. And Randy's always like, is that a dog carry or something? I went, for what? For what? For well, what? see, my son just took his t shirt off and covered him up and picked him up. That's right. Covered his head. And all, and the only thing you got to watch out for those feet. Those are virtual. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Watch out for those. I mean, they can nip you, but uh, it's not that big a deal. Those, those are But So my son just picked the old covering month. I figured we were headed over to their house. Probably the wire cage. Yeah, sorry, that's all I have. Yeah, that's right. We headed over to their house because I didn't have a bird carrier. I don't have a carrier with me, so we went over and got that cage there. And you want to okay, come back and see where I'm going to put him? Yeah, start making back. phone calls for me, girl. <laughs> yeah, mate, who do you know? Fruity? I'm like, I know a lot. So. <laughs> You're not too skinny, you haven't been on the ground too long. Oh, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, I wonder, I don't know why you wouldn't. Well, <laughs> might have just got thumped, but I'm not feeling anything broken, so oh, good. Well, hope, hopefully it won't have to deal with it. Is it still? Oh. We're going to let him recoup for a, a few days. Here you go, sweetie. There you go. Well, yeah, you got some balance issues there, kiddo. You got thumped. Okay. Yeah, you know, he couldn't go very well. So. Yeah, he's got some balance issues, so ho hopefully... Yeah. I hope he didn't get poisoned. Well, West Nile virus is another issue this time of year. Yeah. Mm. There's a virus that hurts him? Oh, yeah. What is it? Care. It's called West Nile. It's, it started in Africa, came over to the United States. It's been migrating. Basically, mosquitoes would bite birds. Birds migrate. The mosquitoes bite the birds after they migrated, and they spread it to the birds wherever the birds have gone. And it's been, it came across the, the country about uh, 20 years ago. And if you get bit by a mosquito that has West Nile, um, you, it, you can you can just have flu symptoms, or it can cause your brain to swell and you die. It's well, a very, that's what I want to hear. It, it's a it's a very bad virus, and it affects horses. They got I know I got horses too. Right yeah, it affects there. the horses, and you should be giving your your horses this time of year shots for West yeah. Nile. Yeah, I, you, I, I just got two babies. Um, but since this was found on the road, oh, odds are it was hit by a car. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we were sitting there thinking. Yeah, like, I don't know if it got hit or what was wrong with it. Well, I'm glad you came over to me and asked. You know, who make make phone calls? Who do you know? I'm yeah. like, yep, I do. Lived in Enoch my whole life. I knew exactly who this. At least it ain't trying to eat him. Well, it's not seeing me. Oh, so he may have got so a concussion. The, yeah, it's got a concussion. The visual side of the brain has probably got a little swelling. So it can't, at the moment, it can't see. Oh, wow. Well, he's he seen my son when my son went to pick him up in that t-shirt because he <laughs> spread his wings out and opened his mouth. And Yeah, well, right now, I move my hand in front of him. It's not seeing my hands. Because hmm. usually, usually they'll roll over on their back and put their feet up. So maybe when you guys found him, it just happened. Yeah, it's probably just just real real recent. Do you think we can save it, or is he gonna die? Well, th this is one of those things where you know there's nothing to nothing to fix. It's just time. Mm -hmm. 
And so we'll, we'll hand feed him and, and make sure he gets plenty of food and water and that kind of stuff. Is there anything we can give him for the West Nile? We don't know that he's got it. No. Oh. Well, how do you know if he's got it? They die. Some yeah. of them, some of them will survive, but that all you could do there too is feed, hand feed him, and stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. West West Nile is like I said, it's insidious, it's very bad. But you can't give the bird shot like you do a horse. Mm -hmm. Well, you can pro prior pre oh. infection, but during the infection, no, it just makes it worse. Well, hopefully, you get to get a concussion. <laughs> The Martins had other birds blind with concussions that have recovered, so yes. we'll hope for the best. Oh, man. Thank you, How long you does it usually take, you figure? It, it really depends on the situation. It, it could take a day or two, or it could, or it could take uh, months. This is the Ferruginous Hawk. The Ferruginous Hawk is the largest hawk found in North America. Uh, this is this year's young Ferruginous Hawk, and it was hit by a car, had a concussion. And it's doing much, much better, and it's actually very close to being released back to the wild. Um, they're relatively rare uh, bird of prey, but here in, in Utah we do have a good population of them, and they're, and they're doing pretty well. Uh, can't be quite aggressive. They will defend their nests uh, from intruders, and so you have to be uh, aware of that. But they certainly are a beautiful bird. Some of the things that are interesting about them is not only their great size, because it's a very large hawk, but I don't know if you can see uh, very well at its feet, but its feet are feathered all the way down to the top of the foot, for the whole leg and down, where in most hawks the leg, or what we call the tarsi, which is the leg above, above the foot, is bare. And so these are what we call booted, or feathered legged hawks. Um, at one point in time there's another hawk that's feathered as well called a rough leg, and, and uh, some people call this the ferruginous rough leg, that it's truly, it's, it's a ferruginous hawk. Very beautiful, and we're very, very pleased that it's doing so well. When it came in, it couldn't stand. Um, it couldn't feed itself. Like I said, it had a severe concussion. But now it's, it's able to fly around the chambers. And uh, so we're pretty excited we're going to get this one back in the wild here real soon. And where's my little friend? Hey, Fruji. Yeah, you can come in. And there's our little Fruji. And this is a male. Hi, sweetie. I know, you're flying just beautiful now, aren't you, sweetheart? Here we go. Okay. We got you, babe. We got you. It's okay, sweetheart. Ah. Powerful, powerful hawks. Um, and they are just stunningly beautiful. There was this one that had the bad enough concussion that he couldn't even see at Could, first? Yeah, at, at first he had some vision issues that we got past and some balance issues that we got past. And so he was in pretty rough shape when we first got him, but he's doing wonderful now and he flies beautifully. There we go. There we go, little one. Come on, baby. And this, this is something that oh, I know now you're going to try to hurt me. And that's wonderful. Oh, going to bite me. I love that. You can bite me. I don't care. Yes. But see, see him? Oh, he is so cool. He says, I'm, I'm vicious and I'm going to attack your face because I'm a wild hawk. And that's exactly what you should be, my friend. Look how beautiful. Look at the white. Stunningly white underneath. Little bit of red or a little bit of rust color on his breast here, but it's just snow white under here. Beautiful, yes, I know. He's, he's a very light ferruginous, and so he's super, super pretty. Come on, pretty, pretty boy. Let me get this down here so people can see you from this camera as well. Yes, and if I can get you in the car without you hurting me, that would be really cool. But that's okay. I don't care, yes, I don't care. You are just gorgeous my little friend. Yes, you are. You're just gorgeous. And you get to go back home today. Yes, you do. You get to go back home, my pretty baby. Yes, you do. Oh, oh, oh. I know. I know. And this is, this is a great example of what, what I keep telling people about these animals is that, um, you know, even though my, my, my whole life is about, about caring for these guys and rescuing them, but he doesn't know that. And so 
if a wild animal acts tame, it's, it's dying. It's, it's incredibly sick. And so this is what they should be. Fierce, wild, aggressive, and, and they're, not, they're not dangerous unless you end up approaching them and trying to, and trying to hold them and that kind of stuff. Otherwise, there's my baby. Okay, there we go. So now he's in the car and, and uh, ready to go. We're gonna drive up to the top of the mountain and meet uh, Robert's family and let them release this beautiful hawk back to the wild. Hey guys, well, uh, for, for all of our YouTube friends, uh, I'm Martin Tyner, this is my beautiful wife, Susan. And these are the folks that rescued the Ferruccius hawk. And uh, Shiloh actually grabbed and took a shirt off and threw it on top of the bird. It was hit by a car, had a concussion, had some visual issues and some balance issues, but it's now healthy, ready to go. And we're going to, we're up on the sea overlook. We're going to turn this beautiful, beautiful animal loose. Now you need to follow my instructions exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because if you don't, you're going to get grabbed and you're going to have a really bad day. Yes, I, that's why I took my shirt off the first time. Okay. <laughs> so you, you just need to follow that's my instructions as, as to, to what, we, what we do and you'll be just fine. And I've got him in this air, airport. Yeah, and actually, the, guys, the most dangerous thing is getting him out of here. Because he's, he, when they're, they have what we call a, a, a fight or flight instinct, which basically means when they're cornered, they attack. And, and so this is the most dangerous part is getting him out of the box. And once I get him controlled out of the box, then, then, then I can handle him relatively safely. Huh, sweetie? <laughs> yes. Can you get to a place where I can grab you. Yep, got one foot. Gotta get that other one. There we go. Got the other one. He's a feeling, feeling a lot better now. Feeling yeah. a lot better. Yeah, he looks even better. Too. There we go, kiddo. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I know you want to bite the hell out of me, don't you, sweetie? But that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yes, you can bite me. I don't care. I don't care, you can bite me. And this is the exact, this is what you should see. This is the way they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be wild. They're supposed, that's what wild animals do. Okay, yes, I know, you can take my face off, huh? Such a good baby, such a good, such a pretty boy. I, you know, people ask all the time, do you ever get bit? And I says, every day. You know, when you're handling animals like this, that's kind of par for the course. Okay, this is a young Ferruccius. This is this year's baby, was hit by a car. Like I said, concussion. Um, and uh, a lot of neurological problems and with some temporary blindness issues, but it's all fixed now. He's ready to go back to the wild. The Ferruccius hawk is the largest hawk found in North America. It's the biggest one. And it's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know, Susan, if you can get a little shot of this. I don't know if we can get it on my camera or not, but you can see the feet. Mm -hmm. It has feathers all the way to the top of the foot. And that's unique. Most birds of prey, the, the legs are bare. And so this is what we call booted because it has feathered legs. And that's, and that's one of the ways you know it's a ferruginous hawk. And it's beautiful white underside, some, some creamy creaminess on, up on the top of the breast here. And so it's, it really is just one of the prettiest birds of prey in the world. And, uh, and it needs to be in the wild where it belongs. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to have you hold the bird where I'm going to have you basically take your right hand. I want you to put it around its legs like this, just above mine. And then I'm going to put the bird in your against your chest, and I want you to just I uh, just kind of uh, what the way I want you to hold the bird is just, just kind of like this, where the bird's against your chest, this hand down here on the wing, and the other one down on the feet. Okay. Okay. And, and the bird struggles. Don't let it go. So let's get that. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Hi, baby. You can bite at me. You got him. Yep. Okay, Fruit. Martin's gonna get his wing and. Here's my hi, little one. I know, I know, life is so bad. Because you're a ferruginous. You are, you're a ferruginous hawk. There's my baby, I got you. Got a good grip on those feet? Yep. Good deal. That's what we want, is a good grip on those feet. And I don't know if we can tuck that wing in, I don't think so. Let's just leave it right there. Okay, and we just need to give him some space then, because he's going to try and get away. You're going to be the last person on the planet to ever touch him. <laughs> let's go put this guy back in the wild. So come on over, over to the railing here. And, um... We'll get this little guy released back into the sky. Where he belongs. Just set it on the ground. Yes.
depends on the bird how they want to heal up, I guess. Just like us. Yeah. yeah. If he wants to fight or die, it's all it is. It boils down to if they want to live or die. Yes, it, that's true. Just like us. Mm -hmm.